Hey, Psych2Goers. Have you ever wondered what makes people light up the room? Is it their charming good looks, their sense of humor, or something else entirely? Your likability can be perceived differently by different people. While you can't be liked by everyone all the time, there are a few subtle things that you can do to make people feel more open and warm towards you. So with that said, here are six habits that make others like you. Number one, spend time with them. To get people to like you, you have to do more than watch them from afar. Spend time and find common ground with the person you'd like to know. Ask your classmates if they wanna hang out after school or chat with a coworker during your coffee break. This reinforces what is known as the familiarity principle or the attraction we get towards people and objects that we see regularly. Number two, own your flaws. Do you feel like you have to be your perfect self in front of others? Surprisingly, that may backfire. A person who shows their best self in front of others can come across as artificial and therefore unlikable. On the other hand, showing some of your flaws or committing small mistakes humanizes you, making you more attractive. This is called the pratfall effect, popularized by social psychologist, Elliot Aronson. Just like how it's fun for us to watch celebrities eating at your local fast food place. You can be more likable if you show mundane aspects of yourself, even if that means committing trivial mistakes. Number three, mirror them. Did you know that copying another person's mannerisms can make you more likable? It's true. In a study conducted by New York University researchers, they asked 72 people to work on a task with their partners. Afterwards, the participants were asked to rank how likable their partners were. Unsurprisingly, those who mirrored their partners were more likely to be considered likable than those who didn't. So if you want to get on someone's good side, subtly copy their mannerisms. Just don't go too overboard by copying their every move. A couple of natural touches here or there is just fine. Number four, be generous with your compliments. When in doubt, say a genuine compliment. Telling your new friend that their hair is pretty or they're rocking a great new look helps them feel appreciated. The way you describe others is how they'll see you as well. This is called spontaneous trait transference and can be a great way to make a good impression. For example, if you're at a party and you compliment the host's people skills to a new acquaintance, they will naturally think that you're quite a people person as well. On the other hand, if you complain about how lazy someone is, all while you show that you don't help others, people will find it easy to make the connection that you're lazy as well. So watch your language and give compliments whenever you can. Number five, emphasize your shared values. Are you drawn to someone because of what they stand for? If yes, don't shy away from emphasizing your shared values. This practice is what is called the similarity attraction effect or the natural gravitation of people towards others who share similar qualities. According to a study by Theodore Newcomb, People who share similar viewpoints in controversial topics like politics tend to like each other more, even if they started off as strangers. And number six, tell them something personal. Do you wanna get closer to someone at a more intimate level? Share something personal with them. In a study led by researchers at the State University of New York at Stony Brook, college age students were paired off and given a series of questions to ask each other one small talk and the other more intermediate level topics. By the end of the 45 minute session, those who asked more personal questions felt closer to each other than those who just participated in small talk. So if you wanna get closer to people, skip the what's your favorite class and don't be afraid to jump into more intimate topics like dreams or what means the most to them. Are there any tips that we missed? Are you planning to follow any of the tips above to get more people to like you? Let us know your stories in the comment section below. As always, the references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. And remember to like and share this video with others who might enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.